You may be familiar with Murphy's Laws of Combat. ZCOM has its own laws of combat. And rule number one on that list is Katanas mean you equals zombie. This is a very simple rule and that's why it's the first on the list. First of all, if the katana that you bought is stamped made in China or made in Taiwan or made in Pakistan, you're better off using it to commit seppuku. This presumes, of course, that you're actually a real samurai, which you're not. So just go ahead and fall on your sword in the traditional fashion, which we call the Roman way. A fool and his money are soon parted, so the saying goes. If you bought your katana in a flea market or at some gun and knife show, go ahead and fall on your sword. Before you do, however, please send us your money. A real katana will cost you around $10,000. If you didn't spend that much, fall on your sword. Second of all, let's presume that you did manage to get a custom-made katana made in the Japanese style of tamahagana, which is the type of steel used. There are a total of maybe 20 or 30 people on planet Earth who can properly wield a katana without killing themselves. According to modern samurai master Yoshinori Kuno, it takes decades to become battle-ready with a katana, since most of the people talking about katanas as their weapon of choice learned it from a video game that means that you're definitely not one of the people to whom Master Kuno is referring. Real samurai don't sit around playing video games. Not even if you learn to use a katana from watching Afro Samurai or that fat kid on YouTube pretending to be a Jedi with his broomstick could you use a katana properly. And if you're 20 or 30 years old talking about how awesome you are with a katana, you're not a real samurai. A decade is 10 years. Master Kuno said decades. Plural. So you have two choices. Drop these fanciful notions of being a katana-wielding badass like Tom Cruise in The Last Samurai, or keep on pretending. The zombie apocalypse is coming if you've seen our public awareness campaign spots. If you elect to do the latter, we promise you'll be the first headshot we take. Have a nice day.